Hey eBay, today I'm showing you a Zenith model uh, LM8833. This is a 9 inch portable CRT TV. This is very old school. Has a nice little handle on the top here. Um, I do not see a year on this, but I believe it was either late 80s or early 90s. You can see back there the only inputs on this thing are an RF coax and a uh, little rabbit ear antenna um, I have it hooked up to a little streaming box that I have uh, connected via RCA into an RF modulator and that's going to the back of that play a little bit king of the hill here and unfortunately I do not have the right kind of camera to capture this screen how you see it rolling like that um, if you know anything about CRTs you'll know that's just on the camera it doesn't do that in person uh, unfortunately on my phone I don't have the settings to do that at least for a video I do for the still photos and you'll see pretty good still photos of it in the listing with the screen going but um, yeah unfortunately I can't change that for the video now uh, it does work good this unit never had a remote as far as I can tell, I tried to program a universal one to it because I thought maybe there was some kind of remote pickup down in this black plastic area. But none of the codes for Zenith worked. Um, and I'm assuming at this point that it never had a remote because I actually don't see any type of IR uh, receiver down there when I look closely um, and it has all the buttons that you would want actually on the front of the TV there uh, in 2023 and beyond you know you're really not you're only going to use these four buttons right here anyway um, since there is really no way to get analog TV unless you happen to have a cable system that still puts it out I really I don't know if there's any in the country that still do that though. Um, but you're gonna, what you're gonna wanna do is convert anything you wanna put on this to uh, an analog signal, but all of that's gonna come through on channel three. Now, unfortunately, when this does turn on, it defaults to channel two, so you'll have to hit channel up to get it to channel three. But all of these buttons are working, they are a little hard to hit some of them sometimes like let's uh prepare yourself for the snow noise let's see if we can change to a higher channel number here five yeah see it couldn't get four to work there's five zero nine eight ninety eight seven six doesn't work too well there we got five Four works a little bit. Three works, two works. One is a bit hard to hit. I'm not getting it to go. Um, and then those buttons. Sorry, let me see here. Stop making that noise. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't I don't believe those 
or even buttons right there but the important ones are these anyway and they do work um now as far as the physical condition goes it is in i'm gonna call it very good condition for its age right um maybe this plastic is a little faded or discolored it's hard to know I can't even find that many pictures of this thing online. Um, the chrome looks fairly good. A few little scratches on that, but not very much. Uh, this, you know, the frame around it looks pretty good. The sides, you know, they're, they're pretty clean. Not scratched up or anything. And, uh... Yeah, you've got uh, you've got knobs over on this side. Let me slide down a bit. See if I can show you. I still can't see them very well. Okay, but that's maybe if I tilt it up a bit. These and now it's too low. Okay, here we go. These are all your picture controls are on these knobs over here. So that together with the channel up and down and volume buttons is really all you will need to ever adjust. And uh, yeah, I think that is about it. Thanks for looking, guys.